Growth for a logistics company can be a daunting task, especially for small or growing firms that are looking to take their business to the next level. This is because they are dependent on account-based revenue that is often long-term. Therefore, most of their resources are set to serve their current clients. A good marketing and sales strategy, a well-organized supply chain and vendor management program, cost and operations optimization, and best-in-class inventory planning and management are just some of the ways that logistics businesses can grow to the next level. Unless you have a well-defined and formalized sales process, replete with important segments like need analysis, lead generation, lead qualification, RFP slash proposal preparation, lead closure, and delivery slash client service, you will end up creating an atmosphere of confusion, wastage, and poor ROI. Once you have done that, develop a set of best practices on how to successfully plan and execute each segment, and how each segment naturally blends into the other. Remember, while each segment will have its own unique strategies, you must keep an eye on the holistic overall process and ensure that each works seamlessly with its preceding and following segments. They mustn't be at cross purposes with each other. It takes a good deal of planning and resource allocation to ensure that your marketing efforts are not only targeted toward a suitable audience, but also that you are communicating the pertinent points. Unless your message is pointed, effective, and easy to understand and synthesize, your clients will not understand how you can help them improve their business. Remember, clients, come to you so you can help them achieve their business goals, not because they like you otherwise. Some important tenets of successful modern-day plans include Google AdWords, SEO, social media, and content marketing. An insightful research function will also enable you to stay clued into new and upcoming trends and gradually assume the position of a thought leader in your industry. Research has repeatedly shown that B2B sales teams typically spend a lot of hours trying to put together the correct sales tools and kits. This is so because a lot of the correct data, content, and information that a B2B salesperson requires is often hard to find, or isn't in the format that would be convenient for presentation to the client. Additionally, they can often be outdated or somewhat irrelevant. Equipping your sales reps with the correct tools, including sales presentations, print collaterals, and easily shared online data and decks, will equip your sales teams to function with much better results with little or no repetition or wastage of effort. Modern methods also include an access-only sales platform that allows sales reps to collect data, organize it into convenient formats, share whatever is required, allow tiered access as per the user, and engage potential as well as current clients in discussion, etc. Such platforms often also allow added tools like customer research and analytics. A well-organized and suitably targeted trade show not only enables your sales teams to interact beneficially with the on-site visitors, but also to network and capture leads that can then be pursued via follow-up efforts. Research indicates that trade shows are amongst the best ways to generate warm-slash-hot leads that convert suitably. Using modern methods such as CRM dashboards, lead generation funnels, online databases that can be mined for insight in numerous ways, and funnel management and its associated metrics, are just some of the ways that a suitably automated sales system helps in improving performance and optimizing resources. Not only that, but it also enables sales teams to save time, engage customers better, provide better customer support, and thereby increase the chance of renewal and retention. Important metrics such as conversion rates, target achievement, average order size, customer growth, etc., are also available for review 24-7. All this enables ROI calculation on the funds and resources deployed into the business. With the amount of competition out there today, competing as a generalist is difficult. 
Sure, you could service ancillary segments in addition to your core segments, but be sure to carefully work out what your core audience is. Then, become a specialized company in your vertical and develop a reputation for being the go-to firm in your segment. You could specialize in cargo types, regions, industry segments, client size, etc. A logistics firm that offers a comprehensive one-stop solution across all aspects of the logistics and distribution process, including procurement, inventory planning, and management, becomes attractive to clients since they don't have to deal with numerous vendors. You can help clients avoid having to set all this up on their own, thereby making your value proposition more persuasive.